Spencer Ford, the smartest high school lacrosse player in the country. At 6'3", 180 pounds, the sharpshooter from Maryland is as smart as they come, and he's ranked a 5-star and top 10 recruit by both Inside Lacrosse and NLF. The son of a longtime pro lacrosse coach, Spencer has all the tools it takes to become the next college lacrosse superstar. Today, I want to break down the story of Spencer Ford, what makes him such a special recruit, and what I think he needs to do to thrive at the college and potentially pro lacrosse game. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly, and welcome to this episode of Recruit Watch. And by the way, you can join 3,000 other lacrosse players and join the Lax Weekly email newsletter packed with tangible tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. Now, Spencer was practically born with a lacrosse stick in his hands. His dad, also named Spencer and sometimes referred to as Big Spence, was an eight-year pro lacrosse player and then spent the next decade as a general manager for several MLL teams. So while you were probably trying to play hide-and-seek at five years old, Spencer was in a professional locker room surrounded by the world's best lacrosse players. This exposure to high-level lacrosse was a fast track to developing a high lacrosse IQ, something we'll talk about later in the video. At an early age, it was apparent Ford was different at lacrosse. He joined the Crabs Lacrosse Club, an elite club lacrosse team that's known for getting some of the best players in the Baltimore area. Plenty of college and pro lacrosse players came through the Crabs program. Guys like Shaq and Wells Stanwyck, Pat Spencer, Deemer Class, just to name a few. After dominating the middle school club lacrosse circuit, it was time to choose a high school. Living in Baltimore, Ford had the opportunity to compete in the MIAA, one of the most competitive lacrosse conferences in the nation. He opted to go to high school at Boys Latin, an elite college prep school that's graduated some of the most talented lacrosse teams ever. Making the varsity team as a sophomore is an amazing accomplishment, but Spencer Ford had other plans. Not only did he make the Boys Latin varsity varsity team, he fought for immediate playing time, but he ended up getting injured during his freshman year and lacrosse analysts were projecting him to be a solid four-star recruit. But during his sophomore year, Spencer came back for vengeance. He teamed up with fellow five-star recruit Dom Petromala and scored a whopping 30 goals and 33 assists to average four and a half points per game. When defenses tried to press out on him, he ran right by them and scored. When they played him as a passer, he used his ridiculous vision to pick the defense apart. He was unstoppable and Spencer went from a solid prospect to be being ranked a five-star recruit by both Inside Lacrosse and NLF. So by the time September rolled around, every college lacrosse coach in the country was getting ready to do anything they could to convince him to come to their program. And growing up in Maryland, a few schools seemed like obvious choices. He grew up going to Johns Hopkins games, and Homewood Field was right down the road. His dad was an all-time great for Towson, another college just a few miles away. Then there was Navy, a program on the rise and one of the best academic schools in the country. And then there was the University of Maryland. Fresh off a national championship win, the Terps were at the top of the lacrosse world. Spencer took a visit to plenty of schools, but he couldn't get the Terps out of his mind. Just three weeks after his recruiting window opened up on September 21st, 2022, Ford called head coach John Tillman and made his commitment to the Terps. So now that you know the story of how he became so good, let's talk about what exactly makes him such a special prospect. The most obvious part about Spencer's game is his lacrosse IQ, aka he's the smartest player on the field. He can think two steps ahead of the defense, knowing when a slide is going to come and when he needs to find an open play. He knows when to press it on offense and when to slow it down and be methodical. He's not afraid to be flashy and throw behind the backs, but he only does it if he's getting more angle. Having this game awareness is something college lacrosse coaches salivate over, and it's something I want to help you work on later in this video. The second most eye-popping part about his game is his size. At 6'3", 180 pounds, it's hard to miss Spencer on the field, and he uses his body to his advantage. His height lets him see over the defense, and he's not easily pushed around by defenders, and he's able to use his long arms to create separation and score the ball. And this leads me to my next point, Spencer's versatility. If you watch this guy's highlight reel, you'll quickly notice how many different spots on the field he can play. He loves playing at X and passing the ball, but he's also just as comfortable running out of the box and shooting on the run. But then you'll see him on the crease, looking like a specialized crease finisher, throwing fakes in behind the backs with his eyes closed. Sometimes you'll see him on the left wing scoring with his left hand, sometimes you'll see him rip it righty. Simply put, Spencer can be placed anywhere on the field, and that's actually going to fit perfectly with the Maryland offense, which is known to put guys all over the field. Kind of reminds me of Jared Bernhardt in this way. I'm guessing he might start his career out as a midfielder and then finish it as an elite X attackman. Now let's talk about one of the most underrated parts about Ford's game, his deception. If you're an aspiring college lacrosse player, listen up. This means he's able to manipulate a defense with his body language. So when he shoots, it's very rare that he's looking high and shooting high. He's constantly changing levels and not looking where he's going to shoot. This makes it extremely hard for goalies to save his shots because if he's not looking where he's shooting, neither do the goalies. He also uses deception when he's moving 
shooting off ball. A lot of times it looks like he's slumped over, not even really trying. But in reality, he's lulling his defender to sleep, trying to get him to think that he's not a threat. Then at the last second, Ford pops out and shoots the ball before anyone even knows what happened. And he's able to cash in a lot of easy goals that way. If you're trying to score more in lacrosse, I'd highly recommend you learning deception from this guy. And we also have to talk about Spencer's exposure to high level lacrosse. He's grown up with access to some of the best lacrosse players in the world, and he's taken advantage of this. But you might be thinking, well, Jake, I don't live in Baltimore. I don't live next to some of the best players ever. Well, the great thing is lacrosse is such a small sport that you can reach out to your favorite players directly. Growing up, I'd email any college lacrosse player I could think of, and oftentimes I'd get a response back. Even if you don't live in a hotbed or your dad's not a pro lacrosse coach, you can develop relationships with high level lacrosse players and go places. So now that we just bragged on Spencer for a few minutes, I want to talk about things he can work on. And I hope this shows you that no matter how good at lacrosse you are, there's always things you can do to get better. The first way I'd like to see him grow is with his first step. He's an extremely smart player, but he usually finds a way to score goals through his IQ. I'd love to see him develop a quicker first step so he can flat out dust defenders and score. Usually players are the opposite. They're super athletic, but need time to develop the lacrosse IQ to really become elite. Ford is the opposite. If he can actually develop his footwork, he already has all the other pieces to simply become unstoppable. I think a college footwork and speed program is going to do wonders for him. And it's almost scary to think what he's going to look like in three or four years. The next improvement I'd like to see from him is his strength. At 6'3", 180, Ford has plenty of room to pack on muscle to become an even more dominant player. He's usually scoring goals almost slipping by defenders, but I want to see him initiate contact with his shoulder and straight up bully the opposing team. Similar to his first step, if Ford can get on a college weightlifting program, he is going to become so hard to stop. And lastly, I'm interested to see how his aggressiveness develops. I just spoke about how he's almost able to look like he's not trying on the field and using that to his advantage to sneak past defenders and score. But I'd also like to see him take over games. I think that's what separates the great players from the truly elite ones. Guys that know when it's time to get the ball on their stick and simply will their way to the goal. From all accounts, he's already developing this mindset more at Boys Latin and it's something I want to see him continue to do when he gets to college. So now let's figure out how we can train like Spencer Ford so we can take parts of his game and implement them into our own game. The first and most important important way you can train like him is by being addicted to film. And no, I don't mean watching a new highlight reel every day. I mean picking one player, one dodge, one thing, and breaking it down piece by piece and going to practice it on the field. For example, if you're tall and lanky just like him, watch his highlight reel and try to find patterns in his game that you can practice. If you're small and shiftier, go find another top recruit like Ryan Dunkel and study his film. And the question you want to ask yourself is, how are they able to find success on the field and how can I replicate that myself? The second way you can train just like Spencer is shooting deceptively. When you go out to your next shooting session, don't just randomly shoot balls. Try to look high and shoot low. Look far and shoot near. Lean one way and shoot the other. Being able to shoot deceptively will help you score twice the goals this season. So what do you think about Spencer Ford and what video should I make next? I want to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm Jake with Last Weekly. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.